Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss the load and resistance factor design method of designing a reinforced concrete rectangular column with bi-axial bending load based on e-structural design Zen found on the App Store. Get the factored axial load from axial dead load and axial live load. Get the factored moment from moment dead load and moment live load for both X and Y axis. Then solve for corresponding eccentricities. Enumerate input parameters required. Name of column like C1, C2. Floor designation like ground to second. Shapes and ties. Length and width of column. Unsupported height. Bar configuration. Vertical bars with size and grade. Steel ratio. Lateral tie bars with size and grade. Strength of concrete and design loads. Solve the area of steel from steel ratio and gross area of section to get the number of vertical bars followed by number of bars for short side and number of bars for long side. Then get the spacing between bars and check clear spacing between bars. Let the value of neutral axis C corresponds to the given eccentricity at X axis. Identify bar layouts with their distances from the edge of column section and their force type relative to their position from neutral axis. At x-axis, get the stress of each bar layout relative to the distance from the neutral axis and get their forces with their corresponding force type. Continue at x-axis. Solve the force of compression block and sum up all the steel forces together with the compression block to get the nominal load of the column section. Perform final check of eccentricity from the given computations. Let the value of neutral axis C corresponds to the given eccentricity at Y axis. Identify bar layouts with their distances from the edge of column section and their force type relative to their position from neutral axis. At Y axis, Get the stress of each bar layout relative to the distance from the neutral axis and get their forces with their corresponding force type. Continue at Y axis. Solve the force of compression block and sum up all the steel forces together with the compression block to get the nominal load of the column section. Perform final check of eccentricity from the given computations. Solve the nominal actual load at E equals 0. Get the actual nominal load by using reciprocal load method. To check for adequacy, the nominal design load should be less than the actual load capacity. Follow the given computations for lateral tie bars. Design recommendation format as follows. Design criteria, column size, vertical bars, and lateral tie bars. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.